Welcome to Night Prayer on Saturday the 19th of December. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let's reflect on the day. What was nice? What went well? What else has happened? Well, whether it's good, bad, indifferent, whatever there has gone on, we can bring it all to our Heavenly Father. And for anything we did wrong or got wrong, let's ask now for God's forgiveness. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. Grant, we ask, merciful Lord, for us, your people, pardon and peace, that we may be freed from all our mistakes and wrongdoings, and follow you with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, make speed to save us, O Lord, make haste to help us. And now Jenny is going to read Psalm 8. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of children and infants you have ordained praise because of your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honour. You made him ruler over the works of your hands. You put everything under his feet, all flocks and herds and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, all that swim in the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our Bible reading is from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 16, verses 13 to 21. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But what about you, he asked, Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by man, but by my Father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he warned his disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Christ. From that time on, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders, chief priests and teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and on the third day be raised to life. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. 
for you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. The words of Simeon, when the baby Jesus was brought to the temple and he saw him. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Jenny, please will you lead our prayers for us. At the end of this week, with children home from school at the end of term, and university students hopefully home too, we pray for their families, families to be able to enjoy being together, able to establish changes in routine and the possible rush to prepare for Christmas. We pray for tolerance and understanding between parents and children, especially those adults who have experienced going away to college and university in a way very different from that which they were expecting. For all of us as we prepare for Christmas, may we remember again the great love that God has shown us in sending Jesus to redeem mankind. And may we respond to his offer, not only of forgiveness, but a loving, constant relationship no matter what the future holds. Lord, thank you that we can bring our prayers to you as we do in Jesus' name. And now the Advent Collect. Almighty God, give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness and put upon us the armour of light, now in the time of this mortal life in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility that in the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the quick and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, now and evermore. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. And we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those that sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for it is you alone, Lord, that make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch look for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us his peace, now and for ever. Amen.